A motorcycle is more than just a way to get from point A to point B. A motorcycle makes a statement. It's a way to translate your personality into your everyday routine. A motorcycle says you live at your own pace and enjoy a certain kind of freedom and acceleration that traditional methods of transportation just cannot give. So say you're fresh out of your motorcycle safety course and are itching to get your hands on your first bike. You've picked out your jacket, helmet and riding gear. Now all that is left is your new motorcycle. As with any consumer product, the first step towards figuring out what you want is figuring out your needs. Specifically, you need to determine if you will use your bike primarily for city riding or for rural riding. Along with the purpose, you need to figure out what type of motorcycle appeals to you. Naked, sport bike, cruiser or adventure. There are also a lot of other factors to consider when buying a new motorcycle, such as fuel efficiency, horsepower, features and technology. Another major factor you should have on your mind when making the choice is insurance if you live in the North America. How much are you willing to pay? Sport bikes generally have higher insurance premiums when compared to cruisers or street bikes of the same capacity. So with all of these factors, it can be very intimidating to even know where to start if you are a beginner. That's why we have put together this list for beginners to help you make the right choice. We're going to cover the key features and take a look at some of the best motorcycles for beginners of 2020. So without any further ado, let's get to it. If naked bike is your preferred style of motorcycle, then the Yamaha MT-03 will let you conquer the road with its sophisticated engine, lightweight design and signature naked styling. It features a 321cc twin-cylinder 8-valve engine and 6-speed transmission. The MT-03 is run by the same liquid-cooled parallel engine that the others in the MT family have, but although the MT-03 puts that in a smaller user-friendly package meant for beginners. The carburized roads in the engine disperse heat very effectively and the aluminum frame is lightweight and handles like a dream. The most distinctive feature of the MT-03 is the pair of thin LED eyebrows in place of headlights, while the main headlight is tucked into the center of the front panel. Set to weigh just 373 pounds with a full 3.7 gallon fuel tank, the MT-03 is projected to reach up to 70 miles per gallon. If you want a naked bike focused solely on performance, that you can even confidently take to the tracks, then the KTM 390 Duke is your weapon of choice. At its heart is a single-cylinder 373cc engine mated to a 6-speed transmission. The KTM 390 Duke has an aggressive sport bike design, but has the handling of a street bike. The handlebars are lower set than most street bikes giving you a more sporty lean forward position and it is very light and easy to maneuver through traffic. The steel chassis is weighted near the center giving the bike a low center of gravity that lets you take turns easily. The above average gas tank gives great mileage so this one works for both urban and distance riding. Aside from the technical specs, the KTM 390 Duke just looks great with its sharp line and twin LED headlights that is sure to grab attention wherever it goes. If you're in the lookout for a sport bike, then the Kawasaki Ninja 400 is the most powerful little sport bike that'll blow the lids off other entry-level bikes with its 399cc engine, a peak output of 44 horsepower and a $5,000 price point. The new Ninja 400 features a redesigned frame so it's lighter, stiffer and has better handling. The shorter wheelbase makes steering easier and the engine itself acts as a structural element reducing the total weight of the white bike by about 30 pounds. The Ninja 400 has noticeably more engine power at the low and mid range, making it a perfect street bike for the city. Even though it has a sporty design, the seat height is relatively low and gives a comfortable upright riding position. 
You can get up to 50 miles per gallon on the street on the Ninja 400 and it has a 3.7 gallon tank which you can expect to squeeze at least 150 miles out of it. Above all, it's Japanese which means low maintenance costs and amazing reliability. If you're planning to spend a lot of time at the track, then the KTM RC390 would be your best bet. It's a sportier model of the 390 Duke that is more suited for urban riding. The RC390 has the same 373cc engine single cylinder as the Duke, though it has a noticeably lighter frame and more sport bike design. The ingenious intake and fuel injection design gives the small engine a lot of power and torque, a perfect fast accelerating bike for sipping through the town. A nifty slipper clutch addition opens when the back torque becomes too high, which helps you ease the throttle through gear transitions. The body design has a shorter trail and wheel base than the Duke, allowing the RC390 to have excellent handling and dynamics. The ABS features four pistons radially bolted to the huge 320mm disc brake that gives exceptional brake performance no matter how hard you're riding. If cruisers are your style, the new Rebel 500 from Honda is undoubtedly the best beginner cruiser out there. It's a redesign of the classic model. The new 500 has a tough 471cc parallel twin cylinder, liquid-cooled engine that is well capable for cruising around town and doing highway speeds. A new fuel injection mechanism keeps tab on engine performance variables to input the optimal mixture of air and fuel and the low frame and chassis makes for a smooth ride. Like 300, the Rebel 500 has a unique crankshaft design that minimizes engine vibration for a smooth ride and a new slipper clutch that makes it easier to switch gears. Borrowing elements from a cruiser and chopper, the Rebel 500 has a low seat height and ground clearance. If you run a slightly tighter budget, the Rebel 300 is an excellent choice. The 286cc single cylinder engine is great for city riding, but may be a bit cumbersome on the highways. In terms of features, it pretty much has all of the same features as its bigger brother, the Rebel 500. If you're looking for the best adventure bike, the new 2020 KTM 390 Adventure is your best choice. A single cylinder motorcycle that features a tough 373cc engine and 6 speed transmission. The KTM 390 Adventure is a first in class beginner adventure motorcycle that takes motorcycling off road. With KTM styling and technology, this motorcycle is a top overall pick for any motorcycle in terms of functionality, price, and ease of riding. Don't miss out on this one. If you want an adventure bike that's easier on the pocket, lighter and shorter, then you should go for the Royal Enfield Himalayan. It looks exactly like how an adventure bike should be. It has a 411cc motor that is perfect for off-roading, but with just 24 horses it will be slow to accelerate, but you shouldn't have any problems reaching highway speeds. So there you have it, the best beginner motorcycles of 2020 for all type of riders. As you can see, there are plenty of great options for beginners to choose from. It may be a bit tough to figure out what you really want, but with due diligence and some good research, you will surely come on top. So welcome to this wonderful hobby and this world of motorcycling. We hope you liked the video, if so, please hit that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.